Hello guys, North Australian Spot 390 here, and this is a top five of the liveries that I have seen in Britain. So companies like GWR don't count. Five Transpennine Express, the new livery. So it just suits every train it's on, and it's just really good. When they unveiled this, I thought it's a big improvement on the old one. And yeah, I cannot wait to see the Novas in this livery. They just, it's really good. For another first owned company, Hull Trains. I seen these at Donny a few weeks ago and the livery is just amazing. An old 2000s vibe for first. Probably the most first look looking like livery in the country. Yeah, I really like it and it's just great. Three bit of controversy here, Virgin Trains West Coast. The new livery. Yep, a lot of people don't like it but I'm going to disagree. I really like it. The thing that could make it better is that the carriages are a bit bare they could comfortably make number two though if that was changed two virgin trains east coast i was not going to include these on here but i just had to like virgin trains west coast east coast have a good livery as well but there's just more on it hence why it edges it yeah it's just great but number one easiest decision on here grand central it is just unreal. It You can just immediately link it with Grand Central and it just suits the 180s so well. It suits the HSTs as well. So it's just the best, you know what I mean? So on that note, Northwest Trainspot 390, out.